TeachAnOldDogNewTricks.com. More than 40 hours of free computer training. Sit, stay, and learn. Thank you. Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is Tony Hollowitz and I want to thank you for being here. In this tutorial we are going to talk about merging and splitting cells in Microsoft Word 2010. I want you to observe right down here we have a, a row of green cells. Well, What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my pointer in the first cell. I'm going to click and drag all the way over to the right hand side. I'm then going to go up onto the layout tab and I'm going to click on merge cells. So what I've done by doing that is I've taken all those cells and I've made them one big cell. That's called merging. But now what I can also do is I can go up and I can split those cells. So I can take this particular cell, click once, and I can say, okay, how many columns do I want and how many rows? In essence, it's almost like I'm putting um, a new division or new dividers in here. Well, let's say we want 25 columns and we only want one row. Let's see what happens. I'm going to click OK and now I've split that particular cell into 25 little columns which I can now manipulate on their own. So when you start recognizing all the things you can do within a table you can really manipulate the way things look within that table. In the next tutorial we're going to talk a little bit more about what we see on the screen versus what we print out. So we're going to talk about some of the printing options within Microsoft Word 2010 as it pertains to tables. My name is Tony Hollowitz. Thank you very much.